Yes. Ooh. All right. So uh, this is the east entrance. Uh, there was a crew working right here, but they're gone. So we might get it all the way around. Yes. <laughs> gone. So this is a straight section. If you saw from the map, the uh, the ring is kind of like a racetrack. It's not a circle. It's kind of stretched and opposite. So starting there, that, that high wither box is plastic covered. There's two quadrupoles, then the bend magnet, the red one, then there's two sextipoles, the green ones, and the blue quadrupole here, this is the middle of the, this is the reflection point of the, the, the cell for the lattice. And then it repeats again going the other way. Behind those covers, what you would see is a pattern of magnets where the North Pole is, say, down, the next one, North Pole, is sideways, and next North Pole is up, the next North Pole is the other way, and it makes the beam oscillate or wiggle, and it gives off x-rays with each one of those wiggles. been removed. In this place we have our RF cavities. This is the place where we restore the lost energy to the beam as it makes its triple. To the user areas. If you had tour two weeks ago, would beam lines work? Yeah. That's what's up. about 1 times 10 to the minus 9th tour. If you know what that is, that's about a thousand times better than the vacuum pressure between the planets. And we achieve that with lots of very uh, specialized equipment, which is off right now for maintenance. But Okay, so back we started. And so we'll go look at the Klystron. We use red again for the light bulb, but in Spear we're using uh, blue for the quarter poles. In the booster we're using green. So okay, you just look at the, the number. It tells you it's a QF, it's quarter pole. If it's an SF, it's sex the pole.
here we have a klystron, this 20th century made up Greek word that means large amplifier. Remember I said if you had a TV station and you want to broadcast across four counties, you want to do something like this, this is what it is. So all the energy that we make from this process where we have this river of electrons and we slowly neck it so it's in the furrow at the top and you get this alternating